Woo! What is going on, guys? We got an epic unboxing today. I know you hear that a lot. Every every unboxing is a, is epic, but this one I'm super excited about. Please don't let me down, Knife Gods. Uh, three things here. I already opened this one because I had no idea what it was. Uh, super flat. I'm like, is this a Hank? This is... So I reached out to Chavez to get the stop pin for uh, the replacement stop pin, and they just sent this off. They hooked hooked me up, and they sent both of these, and I assume that one of these is going to work for me. Um, I think it's just I think it's just this guy right here. Uh, it goes in here. So. Boom, bada bing. I'm not sure what this one is. This must be a stop pin maybe for the street or something. And he just hooked it up with both. Uh, so that's awesome. So for those that didn't know, I got a Serpent's Run, Serpent's Run Custom Chavez. And uh, I had to cannibalize this guy uh, to take out the backspacer pin because that one didn't have it in there. It was really upsetting. Uh, but now I'm glad that I got this one back. And I think I am going to do some additional work on this particular Chavez. I haven't completely decided if I want to do this and refinish this again. Maybe I'll do a separate video kind of showing it off and seeing what you guys think. If I should uh, keep this as is or not, it is an OxyClean finish on top of a high grit sandpaper. I'm thinking uh, I might want to go into a higher grit sandpaper to get even more of that texture on there and then do another oxide finish over the top of it. I don't know. We'll have to decide fun stuff super excited about that this one okay this is the big one this is stick around for this one uh it's in the title it's going to be a something obscene version for j cape super excited barely dropped this is for my dad right here this is from my father who is super awesome he hooked me up with a bunch of of 3d printed skulls that i could use as like lanyard beads or he got me the purple ones oh cool like just different lanyard beads that i can use that's awesome freaking look at this guy that is sick my dad's gotten into 3d printing and he is tearing it up and he hooked me up with some cool freaking lanyard beads. I need to get some paracord and I need to string these up. We've got black skulls, purple skulls. We've got this cauldron looking thing. I'm not quite sure exactly what that is. I'll have to talk to him. Oh, is that a dragon? Looks like it's a dragon wrapped around some kind of cauldron or something. Uh, I don't even know if that's in focus. I'm looking at it in person. Sorry about that. Very, very cool. Thanks, Dad. If you're watching this, appreciate it. That is super sick. But on to the main, main guy here. We're gonna use the version 3.5 to open up this box. This is the exclusive from, let's see, trying to make sure. Uh, nope, there's no address on here. Uh, this is the exclusive from Gecko Customs. I literally was on the tail end of this pre-order and when I reached out to him, all he said he had left was, oops, flipper only or thumb stud only. But he had reserved a dual action for himself and said he was willing to give that up for me. So we'll see. We'll see if I got the dual action or if, oh, we got some cool swag. Oh, wow, I got a coin. I didn't know I was gonna get a coin. How did I get a coin? That is freaking sick. Hooked it up with the Gecko Customs. You've got the Fist logo right there. And then you've got the, the Gecko here. Uh, really, really cool. I did not know I was going to be getting this with my order. This is absolutely amazing. Super happy to have this. I believe it's a stainless steel and then it's got a bronze coating or coloration on it. Um, and then, of course, the, the etching there. All kinds of swag. We've got the new logo here, something obscene. We've got the... Gecko Custom Knife Works. So this is similar to Serpent's Run, right? Customization of knives. Got that kind of cool look to it. Um, and they've got that carbon fiber that they like to use. Here is uh, another sticker of the guy with the lightning eye patch and the J-Cape. And then this is the sticker that I've wanted for a long freaking time, the, the lightning bolt fist. 
These are awesome. And then we've got, of course, a koozie to keep to keep your drinks cold. So let's see what we got here. Uh, Pre-order, man. This is the longest pre-order I think I've ever been associated with, and it wasn't even that long. Um, here we go, J Cape Gecko Customs. That's pretty cool that they actually have the exclusives actually listed on here. So you've got all four of those customs. Dual action, number 13, lucky number 13. I don't have a specific number that I'm into, but if I had to pick one, 13 is pretty damn cool. Here is the custom run number and extra hardware. That's awesome. This has both pocket clips. That's awesome, awesome, awesome. I could not be happier. And here she is. This is the Gecko Customs V4 with that Gecko carbon fiber that looks amazing. I got a really good one, guys. I lucked out. Um, some of these are not as vibrant as others, and you know, it's it's how carbon fiber is. It's a uh, hit or miss. Woo! It's got a little bit of a ting to it. It's not a ringer, but it does got a little metallic kind of ting to it. Uh, that's awesome. I did get the dual dual action on there. 20 CV steel, pretty much. I believe the blade is pretty much the same. It, it's, uh, yeah, I think the blade is exactly the same as the V3s, if I'm not mistaken. I don't see any differences. I'm not aware of any differences. Uh, the main changes are in the handle. I could do a whole video on the differences. You can see how the shape is changed a little bit, rounded up at the top, softer. The biggest thing is that everything is contoured and rounded. You've also got um, a little bit of chamfering inside of here to kind of get a little easier access to the lock bar. I kind of wish it was a little bit more, but it's kind of there. One thing that's interesting is it almost looks like the scales are thicker, which is cool because when I found out that they had contoured these, I was a little concerned that it would be too light and a little too unsubstantial in the handle uh, because this is pretty minimal and it's milled out all the milling pockets and I was kind of worried it was going to be too light almost because this is a very light knife. I would say, um, where is my scale? Let's do a weight real quick. I almost wonder if this new version is slightly heavier. I thought the contouring would make it too light. So this has the bead and the paracord but it's 4.9. And this one obviously has nothing on it. 5.6, holy crap. Well, I'll be, that is a completely surprising surprise there. This is substantially heftier than this one, despite the inlays. You know, you've got pockets milled here. This is all milled out here with carbon fiber. Uh, the same lightning on the inside, I believe. Oh. No, it does not. It does not. Let's see, I don't know if you can see in there. It looks like we've got some lightning holes here, but because of these inlays, I assume you're essentially swapping the, the inside for the outside. So there's no lightning done on this side, on the inside anyways. You obviously have this milled pocket here for that, but that's it. Ooh, little bit of a ting. I wouldn't consider this a ringer, but it does have a little bit of a ting, kind of similar to my group knife. This one, if you hit the right acoustics, you'll get a little ting on it, but generally you won't. This is very, very cool, super comfortable. I'm actually, so um, the extra weight I actually like, because uh, one of the things I don't love about this one is it's almost too light. Like I appreciate the engineering to get it there, but it, man, I like my knives to have a little bit of beef to them, a little bit of heft to them. And the fact that this is actually a thicker handle, but then it's got the contouring, it's really, really cool. Action is superb, really awesome. So I'm gonna spend some time with this guy, take some pictures, post them online, even though these are the ones that like dropped the soonest. So on all the Facebook groups, this is the one everybody's seeing. I don't care, I'm gonna post a picture anyways. I'm gonna swap this clip out, I think, for the lightning bolt clip. Uh, 
uh, let's take a look at that real quick. I want to see, because this is contoured. Is it contoured? The pictures made it look like it was contoured, and I think it is. I don't know if this guy is, and my sausage fingers cannot get it out of here. So let's see. It is. So this is, ooh, that is nice. So this is contoured as well. And it's got a beautiful stone washing on there compared to like this one. I guess this is stone washed as well too, but this is flat and this is contoured. Ooh, really nice. Um, oh, some other differences. Why not? Since we're off topic and this is well beyond. So uh, this is by no means all of them, but you can see hidden screws on the pocket clip right here. Hidden screws on the insert, which is awesome. Makes it super clean. Uh, what else do we got? That's all the same. We've already talked about the scales. Obviously, this has inlays that come in through the outside. Um, it does mean, you know, I have to take this whole thing apart to switch out this clip. So I'm going to make sure that that is what I want to do. I think that is what I want to do. I mean, it's the iconic clip. It's kind of like the skull clip on the Chavez to me. Even though it does hang up on some things sometimes, you know, fashion over function in my eyes. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, it's just such a cool clip and so iconic. I think I gotta, I gotta swap it out. This one's cool too, though. Um, and I think those are the main differences. Uh, you've got this pivot collar right here that matches the inlays here, which is look how delicate that is and how difficult it's got to be to mill that. The milling, the wire, I, I assume it's wire milled. That's what it's called, right? Uh, is so precise. There's a version of this that just has matching titanium inlays and you can hardly tell that there's inlays. Like from a distance, it looks like it's just flat. And then when you look close, you realize, you realize that it's actually an inlay there. So anyways, I'm gonna fondle this thing, switch out that pocket clip. I'm super excited. These are awesome. I'm gonna throw this in my pocket, maybe put a lanyard on it. I am super excited, super stoked. All right guys, take it easy, I'm out.